Hi guys, I'm Bea. And I'm Paul. And if you already know us, we are very notorious for going on trips without planning. <laughs> so in this video, we are going to talk about the things that we have learned in Paris. But before that, if you are curious about traveling to Europe, especially Spain, and would love to know more about it, let us show you around. Subscribe if you're on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and listen to us anywhere podcasts can be downloaded. Vale? Vamos! <laughs> would be which is very helpful was to learn some french words some greetings so bonjour merci bonsoir s'il vous plaît and vous parlez anglais and most importantly le so which is water paris is one of the only cities in europe that you can ask for uh, water from the tap so it's really important to be able to learn le so learning a few words in French um, made it easier for us to navigate the city even if everything else that we said was in English but they were more accommodating because we were polite enough to try um, so definitely learn a few phrases anything really just say hello au revoir bonjour that that's it and you're, you're gonna be golden. So um, second thing um, that we realized was just really how busy Paris is. It's a very busy city, it's a very big city. So watch your stuff, be alert because you know, you could be a victim of a pickpocket if you're not very careful. It's very, very busy there. So you can get confused right away, um, you know, especially if you don't speak the language. It's just like any other big city. There's always a risk of you losing your stuff and people pickpocketing, so just be vigilant. Also, it is easier to translate words from French to Spanish. So, for example, lundi or Monday is lunes, or pan is pan, or the menu is called carte, and in Spanish it's carta. So if you actually know a few Spanish words, um, what we realized it was easier for us to kind of translate it first to Spanish and then to English. You need to learn Spanish first <laughs> before you speak French. Or to just, just think more in Spanish than in English. If you know some Spanish, then I think that will kind of help you convert it a little bit more. The next one is make sure that... Okay, so th this situation we learned when we were trying to buy tickets for Versailles. Our friend Nora, who is a local in Paris, uh, asked one of the people what ticket she needed to buy for us because she wasn't going to go with us to Versailles. But buying the 10 trip tickets is better for us because there's an option of buying a tourist ticket, which I forgot what it's called. I'll post the name in the bottom. They're saying don't use that because you're not going to be able to use all of it. The metro system is very, very confusing. Even if you buy 10 trips, there is an expiration. I don't know when the expiration is. It's not written on the ticket. You're gonna have to guess. Maybe it's 24 hours, maybe it's not. But even our friend Nora did not, does not know. So it, it could be quite frustrating even if you have like a, what you think is a valid ticket, but it's not valid anymore because it, it has expired. They also, there are cops that check in between stations if your ticket is valid so you're coming out of the subway or out of the metro and um, cops will stop you to ask you to present your ticket so you always have to have your ticket with you number one and then number two would be like take the receipt as well because sometimes like paul's ticket wasn't working but i had a receipt for it that showed i just bought it so yeah it gets very confusing very fast which brings us to our other point. So the metro is very confusing. The tickets expire at a certain time, but it doesn't say it's not printed on there. So I don't know, you know, and the cops could stop you if you're and check your ticket. We were stopped maybe no less than five times during our trip there. I mean, there was one time that we were stopped twice. 
So to our point, it's better if you stay closer to the center. If you want to, you don't want to deal with public transportation, then just stay in the center of the action. The Louvre, the Eiffel Tower, the Notre Dame are all along the River Seine. And you know, look at a map and see where you want to be. But really just walk from one area to another if you don't want to deal with the metro system. I, that's what I would recommend. I think next time around, that's what we'll do. Yeah, because the, the train trips are, uh, it takes a lot of time. And, you know, the risk of, especially now during, we're recording this during the time of COVID, uh, the risk of getting COVID is high because it's just a really packed place. And you don't really get to see anything when you're underground. You don't get to see the city. So it's just a lot of like sitting like 30 minutes, not doing anything. So might as well just stay closer to the center of where you want to be and just walk around there. So the airports are a little bit farther out from Paris. If you're coming from Charles de Gaulle, it's about 40, 45 minutes away um, from the city center. We took a cab. Um, it's a fixed price and it's somewhere around 53 to 60 euros. We all flew in to Paris in the same morning. So I think we arrived first. And then we and waited then, for Louis and who... Then, or no, Louis arrived first and then we arrived second and then Carrie's flight got delayed. So she alive, arrived last. But we were, I think, uh, within maybe an hour, two hours of each other. Um, so once we all got situated, we went to just hop on a cab and it it was the same price as if we got like subway tickets or metro tickets with less hassle. So just take a cab it's so much easier especially if there's four of you to split it then it was just on what under 15 bucks for each not bad the next tip that we have learned uh on our, in our stay in paris is my favorite is uh going early to the sites if you want to take great photos it just goes with anywhere in the famous sites everyone's Usually in Europe, I feel like people party really hard at night, so they l wake up late in the morning. So it's take it to your advantage to go there early and take the photos. That's what we did when we went to Versailles. Uh, we went to the gardens and uh, the, you could get into the gardens for free if you come in early. Like so. 7 or 8 a.m., right? Yeah. So. so we got to take great photos. Uh, I don't know about great, but we had at least it's great for us. It was just so worth it. You're already on vacation anyway, just wake up early. That's hard for me, but okay. <laughs> also, like book your entrance tickets online because the lines can get very long. Um, at least when you're booking tickets online, you can choose um, to view the, site, uh, the website in English. Um, it'll be easier for you to navigate. You can pay um, with your credit card. And what that does is it, um, it basically skip the line for the ticket office and that could save you anywhere from like 40 minutes to an hour to maybe even two hours just just trying to get tickets so when it comes to uh dining experience uh we got this tip from our friends ron and lauren and they said that make sure you you uh book your reservations in advance because you don't want to be stuck at like a mcdonald's for dinner because everybody else is closed and it actually happened to us where there was this one restaurant that we wanted to try but we didn't have reservations and they it was 9 p.m we went in and they said no come back at 11. so we went somewhere else first we ended up at the cafe um where they shot before sunset and we were there from around 9 p.m till 11 just having a coffee and then when we got back to the restaurant it was still full they still couldn't accommodate us and it was already like what 11 15. so yeah definitely make dinner reservations especially for weekends or for for holidays like summer vacation it's better to have something lined up already the last thing that we think uh, is really important that you should know, especially if you're not coming from uh, Europe, is that the money changers are really expensive and they're hard to find. Yeah, so unless you're in the touristy area, so in Champs-Élysées, I think we saw three money changers. One was closed, the other one was charging a fee to transfer, uh, to convert your money. Um, so they were expensive. And then we actually found a smaller one tucked away um, that didn't have, that didn't charge a fee, a service fee. They just 
you know had an exchange rate and that that was good um but also a lot of people uh a lot of stores accept uh credit cards so if you have a credit card that doesn't have a foreign transaction fee then i would suggest just use that because it's more convenient so last but i don't know if it's the least and i think it's the most important thing especially if you're going to paris to experience the food our friend nora who is a local there told us that not only should you experience the French food, you should also experience the food from the colonies of the French. There's so many colonies uh, that are in the, the city that we'll, we actually made a video, a separate video about the, the food, the restaurants we went to, and I'll post the video here in the corner. Uh, we talked about the the authentic French food that we ate at, and then the colonies that we did. It was such an amazing advice. That was such a great advice. So yeah, so big f food that are big in France, aside from French food, are Algerian, uh, Vietnamese food, of course, and uh, Thai food and Laotian food. So Laos is a former colony of Spain. Yeah, try try those foods. Then don't just stick to French food. You might have to go a little bit outside of the the center, the touristy center of Paris to try them. But um, don't miss it. It is really nice to experience it. So those are all of the things that we learned when we first visited Paris. When we go back, for sure, I think we're gonna stay in the city center, stay away from the metro and public transport, and wake up early to take a lot of nice pictures and, that, and i say that without a violent reaction <laughs> and if you have any advice like if you have any suggestions for us since we're going back to paris we would love it if you put it in the comment section below and we'll report we'll make sure to report back if your tips are really helpful or not we really appreciate you if you uh, suggest any any tips that we have skipped yeah, if there's anything else that we need to know, I mean, it'd be nice to know. But yeah, um, merci and au revoir. Au revoir, see you in the next video. Peace.